Hey everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to my Bible journaling channel. Today is Memory Verse Monday, and it's actually the final Memory Verse Monday for a while. Coming out of Romans 12, 11, do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. I'm giving you a quick glimpse here at my Romans 12 in its current condition. It has been journaled in the margin already, and I decided to go ahead and not add a tip in or not add anything else to that page, but instead find a different and creative place in my Bible to journal this verse from Romans. In this case, that's going to be just inside the front cover of my Bible. The artwork that I've done on the right side of my cover here is a template that is available over in my Facebook group if you're a subscriber to this YouTube channel. So I will link in the info cards the video where you can find out more about that. So I quickly sketched in the shape of a sloth on the cover of my Bible, and I was actually fairly nervous about this because I wasn't sure how it was going to work out. I wasn't really exactly confident that I could successfully paint a sloth into my Bible, but I thought it would be worth a try. So I did use Google Images and just look at my computer for reference throughout this whole painting process. So I don't want you to think that I suddenly was able to come up with what a sloth should look like just by thinking about it. I definitely used the internet as a resource. If you've ever seen a video or a nature documentary about sloths, they are just hilarious creatures. They move so slowly and it just takes them forever to get anywhere. They sleep all the time. And so I feel like this Bible verse using that adjective slothful is definitely getting a point across that we are not to be slothful. We are to be fervent, we are to serve the Lord, we are to be zealous about our faith. So this little guy here is just a reminder to me that in general, in everything I do in my day-to-day -day life, I ought to be zealous and fervent. I ought not to be like a sloth. As I mentioned earlier, this is the final Memory Verse Monday, and the reason for that is the Memory Verse group that I'm a part of. This is their final Memory Verse, and so I'm going to be closing that series out. I actually have a new series launching next Monday that I'm really excited about, and I think you're going to be excited about it too. I used this little white gel pen to add some detailing both on the fur of the sloth and also the tree branch there. And now I'm preparing to go in and do some lettering on the page to get this scripture verse into the cover of my Bible here. And I'm loosely basing the font I'm using on the font that is to the right side there. So I want my printing to sort of match what is going on already. And if you're curious, I just went a half a centimeter down from the very top of the page. My lettering is one centimeter tall and half a centimeter wide. And I find that's a pretty good measurement for adding printing, adding lettering into your Bible. Your Bible is such a small space to work in. And so I find that this is usually a pretty safe size to go with. So about a half centimeter wide, about a centimeter tall. So I basically counted up all my letters for do not be slothful in zeal. And once I knew how many letters there were, I made sure that I was going to have enough little spaces. And then I'm just lightly drawing with pencil on the top and bottom of my page here. And I'm just adding the words, do not be slothful in zeal. And then down toward the bottom, I will add, be fervent in spirit, serve the Lord. I'm just using my Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens to do the lettering on this page. And if you're going to do this, I would definitely recommend using a pen like that that is permanent because this being the cover of your Bible, there just is a chance that it could get wet or you could spill coffee or anything like that. And if there's a chance of that happening, I like to always have my letters be permanent. 
So you can see I have the lettering on the page now and I'm pretty happy with my little sloth guy there. He gets the point across. He is definitely imperfect, but I think he's pretty cute. And this is just going to be a wonderful reminder to me. Every time I open my Bible, I'll see him peeking out at me. And it's just such a good reminder that our faith is not supposed to be a lazy thing. Our faith is supposed to be something that we are excited about and something that we are constantly pursuing our love of Jesus ought to be zealous and fervent and strong. I'm just adding some thickness on the downstroke of each letter here to add dimension and make my printing a bit bolder on the page. And there you have it. That's pretty much the finished page. He is just inside the cover of my Bible and I'm pretty happy with how he turned out. He is, like I said, imperfect, but he's my little reminder to not be slothful. Here's a couple more videos of mine that you might also enjoy. You can click on my face there to visit my channel and subscribe so that you don't miss any more videos like this. Jump into the Word of God for yourself today. It is amazing. God bless you.